Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and in this video I have a special announcement. I'm very excited to announce Mid-Year Mystery Madness Subgenre September. So as you probably know if you are subscribed to this channel or if you've watched very many of my videos, I am a huge, huge fan of March Mystery Madness and this past year I was a host, a co-host of March Mystery Madness and it is so much fun and we decided that we wanted to keep the fun going and keep the anticipation levels high. So we decided to do a mid-year mystery madness. It is going to be for one week in September, September 12th through the 18th and this one we're going kind of easy. Uh, and uh, not a lot of prompts or anything. We're calling it subgenre September. So all we want is for people to read a subgenre of mysteries that they don't normally read or that they haven't read in a while. So for example, I don't normally read hard-boiled mysteries. So for Mid-Year Mystery Madness, I am going to be reading The Maltese Falcon by Dashiell Hammett. It's a hard-boiled mystery. It is also a classic and it's one that I would like to, to read. So that's going to be one of the books that I will be reading for Mid-Year Mystery Madness Subgenre September. If you see me looking down, I have my, my notes here. So if you are going to participate, and we would love it if you participated, please use the hashtag MMM subgenre September. I'm going to write it across the screen here. I'm going to also put all of this information in the description box below, so please check that out. If you are unsure of what sub the subgenres might be, there are a ton of subgenres in the mystery genre. So here are just a few of them. Historical, Historical mysteries, those are my favorite subgenre. So I can't read those for this because I already read plenty of those. Cozy mysteries, hard boiled mysteries, noir, humorous mysteries, romantic suspense is a subgenre, spy or espionage books, psychological thrillers, traditional mysteries, police procedurals, private investigators. Caper. Now, the, a caper is also one that I don't read a lot of. I haven't read a caper in a while, so I've put a caper on hold from the library to read for for this readathon. Um, and also the heist. So the caper and the heist are a little bit different. A caper um, usually does involve some kind of robbery, um, but a caper is very much more lighthearted. A heist is definitely a robbery, but um, the focus is on the planning and execution of the heist. Uh, there is also paranormal or supernatural mysteries. You could read an inverted mystery, which is a how done it rather than a who done it. Um, in an inverted mystery, you know right at the very beginning who the killer is, um, and the point of the book is to find out how they did it. Um, you could read a closed circle mystery or a locked room mystery. An argument can be made that those are tropes, but let's say that they're subgenres for our purposes here. You could read a legal thriller or a courtroom drama. You could read a medical mystery or even a culinary mystery. There, and that's not even all of them. That's just a few examples of the subgenres. So, will you join us? for Mid-Year Mystery Madness Subgenre September. One week, and really, to participate, you just need to read one book that's from a subgenre that you don't normally read or that you haven't read in a while. I would love it if you would join us. Use the hashtag MMM Subgenre Sept, and uh, it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna put the information down below. I, I'm not 100% sure who the other co-hosts are. They're gonna be some of the co-hosts from March Mystery Madness, but Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books is definitely one because she is still our fantastic leader. So I'm gonna put a link to her channel down below. Check out her announcement video. And let me know in the comment section down below if this sounds like something that you would like to participate in. And I will see you for another video soon.